Welcome to a cinematic journey through the sun-soaked glamour of 1,955 seconds to catch a thief. As you revisit this classic film, one might ponder which classic Hollywood actor left an indelible mark on your memory. The alluring grace of Grace Kelly or the charismatic charm of Cary Grant. Share your favorite below. Now, let's dive into the essence of To Catch a Thief. But before we unravel the silver screen magic, have you ever found yourself inspired or touched by this film? Perhaps a personal story echoes its impact on your life. As we explore this Hitchcock masterpiece, we're not just delving into a world of suspense and romance, but connecting with the timeless allure of classic Hollywood. Your favorite actor may have played a pivotal role in making this film unforgettable. Who stole the show for you? Before we continue, we're eager to hear your cherished memories or personal experiences tied to The Catch a Thief. Drop your stories in the comments below, we can't wait to read them. Now, let's set the stage with some captivating random facts about the show. Did you know that the film's breathtaking French Riviera backdrop was more than just a scenic choice? It became a character in itself, adding a layer of sophistication to the narrative. Hitchcock's meticulous direction coupled with the chemistry between Grant and Kelly elevated this caper into a cinematic gem. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to To Catch a Thief? We invite you to share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Embark on this journey with us, reliving the intrigue and glamour of To Catch a Thief. Your memories and experiences make the cinematic voyage even richer. Join the conversation and share your thoughts. Grace Kelly, renowned for her roles in Alfred Hitchcock's films, starred in To Catch a Thief alongside Cary Grant in 1955. Notably, this marked her third collaboration with Hitchcock, following Dial N for Murder and Rear Window. In the movie, Kelly's character, Francie, drives a Sunbeam Talbot Alpine Sports MKI Roadster. Interestingly, the famous picnic scenes dialogue, where Francie offers John a choice between a leg or a breast, has been the subject of debate. Some claim it was improvised, but the lines actually appear in John Michael Hayes' original screenplay on page 170. These details offer a glimpse into the collaborative work of Hitchcock and Kelly, the choice of cars in the film, and a subtle behind-the-scenes insight into the picnic scene. Each element contributes to the overall charm and intrigue of To Catch a Thief, showcasing the meticulous details that define Hitchcock's cinematic legacy. In crafting the 1955 movie To Catch a Thief, Sir Alfred Hitchcock demonstrated his penchant for innovation. One standout example is the helicopter chase scenes. Hitchcock, known for his meticulous approach, sought a unique perspective. To achieve this, he enlisted a Sikorsky S-51 helicopter, GAJOV, repurposed from a former B airframe. The camera setup involved removing the side door and improvising with ropes, wires, and cables. This feat, captured in July 1954, marked a pioneering moment in cinematic history, showcasing Hitchcock's commitment to pushing the boundaries of filmmaking. The choice of locations in the film also holds intriguing details. When Cary Grant's character reads the insurance valuation on the beach, the address mentioned, Para House Warder Street London W1, turns out to be Paramount Pictures' London office. This subtle inclusion adds an interesting layer, intertwining the narrative with the real-world backdrop of the film's production. Behind the scenes, Hitchcock's motivation for making To Catch a Thief wasn't solely cinematic. The renowned director, desiring a holiday in the south of France, seized the opportunity to weave an engaging narrative against the picturesque backdrop of the Mediterranean. This insight into Hitchcock's personal motivations adds a human touch to the creation of this iconic film. In summary, To Catch a Thief goes beyond a mere 1955 movie. It stands as a testament to Hitchcock's inventive spirit, from daring helicopter chase scenes to embedding real addresses in fictional contexts. These behind-the-scenes glimpses enrich our appreciation of the film's enduring charm and Hitchcock's lasting cinematic legacy. The age difference between Cary Grant and Grace Kelly in the 1955 movie To Catch a Thief initially raised concerns for the producers. Grant, at 50, and Kelly, considerably younger, led to a delayed release as the romance was deemed implausible. Ironically, upon its 1955 release, the film became one of the decade's biggest hits. The delayed debut, far from hindering its success, contributed to the movie's impact, proving the initial apprehensions unfounded. 
This unique turn of events adds a layer of intrigue to the film's history, highlighting the unpredictable nature of audience reception and challenging conventional expectations in Hollywood. In a noteworthy divergence in the German version of the movie, a crucial scene featuring John Roby and the insurance agent takes a markedly different turn. While in the original English version, Roby recounts an incident involving the cook strangling a German general without a sound. The German version portrays her as having caught an escaped lion from a circus with her bare hands. This alteration, though subtle, underscores the nuances in the translation process and the impact it can have on the narrative. It sheds light on the intricacies of adapting dialogue for different audiences, showcasing the dynamic nature of filmmaking and storytelling. Amidst these behind-the-scenes intricacies, it's intriguing to note that John Roby, the character played by Cary Grant, was 34 in the original novel. This age contrast between the literary source and Grant's casting adds an element of interpretation and adaptation to the film's production. It speaks to the creative liberties taken in bringing a written work to the cinematic medium, emphasizing the director's vision and the considerations involved in casting decisions. In conclusion, the making of To Catch a Thief involves unexpected turns, from concerns over the age difference between the lead actors to subtle alterations in international versions. These aspects contribute to the film's unique journey and eventual success, showcasing the dynamic nature of filmmaking and the intricate decisions that shape a cinematic masterpiece. Amidst the cinematic legacy of Sir Alfred Hitchcock, To Catch a Thief stands out in a unique regard. Unlike his other Paramount Pictures productions, this film retained its rights under the studio's ownership. Remarkably, classics like Rear Window, Vertigo, and Psycho were eventually sold back to Hitchcock, a pattern broken only by To Catch a Thief. This distinct ownership trajectory adds a compelling layer to the film's history, making it the sole Hitchcock-Paramount collaboration to remain firmly within the studio's grasp. Beyond the legal intricacies, the movie unveils intriguing details in its narrative. A boat christened as the Maquis Mouse, where Danielle and John embark on their early journey, cleverly merges the French underground with a touch of whimsy from Mickey Mouse. This subtle play on words adds a nuanced layer to the film's storytelling, intertwining elements of resistance and playfulness in the characters' maritime escapades. Delving into the auditory dimension of To Catch a Thief, the soundtrack composed by Lynn Murray unveils a captivating connection. The suspenseful four-note melodically descending theme utilized by Murray is not an original creation, but a reinterpretation of Miklos Ross's work in Hitchcock's earlier film, Spellbound. This musical continuity links the two Hitchcock classics, offering a subtle nod to the director's penchant for weaving connections across his body of work. In essence, To Catch a Thief distinguishes itself not only for its captivating storyline but also for its exceptional status in Hitchcock's collaboration with Paramount Pictures. The Maquis Mouse Boat and the musical echoes from Spellbound enrich the viewing experience, providing enthusiasts with additional layers to appreciate in this cinematic gem. As the sun sets on our cinematic journey through the allure of To Catch a Thief, I invite you to linger in the twilight of your own memories. Let the shadows of Grace Kelly's elegance and Cary Grant's charm dance across the canvases of your mind. The riveting tale of intrigue and romance that unfolded in 1955 is not merely a vintage masterpiece. It's a tapestry of emotions woven into the fabric of our shared filmic history. Take a moment to explore the recesses of your personal connection with this cinematic gem. What stole your breath away as you watched the story unfold? Was it the glint of jewels, the winding roads of the French Riviera, or perhaps the subtle chemistry that ignited between our protagonists? To catch a thief is more than celluloid. It's a mirror reflecting our own experiences, desires, and the timeless quest for a love that transcends the boundaries of time. Now, as you stand at the precipice of your reflections, I encourage you to share your thoughts. What memories of To Catch a Thief linger in the corridors of your mind? Which scenes etched an indelible mark on your cinematic soul? Let your words become a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, a bridge connecting us across the years and miles. Thank you for joining me on this excursion through the captivating world of To Catch a Thief. Your presence has added depth to our exploration, and your reflections are the threads that enrich the tapestry of our collective appreciation for cinema. Until our next rendezvous in the realms of storytelling, 
May your memories of To Catch a Thief continue to sparkle like diamonds in the moonlight. Gratefully, 